Hey peeps, um, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on. Today I'm going to be here talking about my tattoos. I did a poll on Instagram asking if I should do one and the results were like, yay. So I'm going to do that. And I mean, I was going to do it regardless of what people said because it's just one of the videos I've been wanting to make since I started my YouTube. So here we are. I haven't done anything recently, to be honest. Um, the only thing I've done recently was in December while I was in Plet, I got some piercings, which are my third holes. Um, on my earlobe so yeah on either side I've just got three on the lobes and then two cartilage piercings sorry two cartilage piercings on this side which I've got nothing in the second one right now and on this side I just have the tragus one I think that's what it was called um, sorry if I'm wrong but yeah that's all that I've done recently um, I generally keep them all the same and then I change out the first ones here I'm really into hoops lately so I pretty much just go between silver and gold hoops and they change in size and thickness but otherwise it's pretty much just hoops all the time so I'm gonna just go by the order of when I got them done so the first ever tattoo I got was um, from a guy called Leifa uh, you would know him in Kid Leifa I'll put his Instagram down below. He's very well known in Durban, Joburg, Cape Town too, I guess. Um, but yeah, that was the first ever tattoo I got done. I remember I did that like at the end of first year. So I'm just gonna turn around so you can see it. Ooh. Oh my gosh, how will I show this? Um, so it's the one that goes down my spine. I really hope you saw that, but if not, I'm gonna put a picture in anyways. Um, it's the one that goes down my spine. It doesn't go all the way down, literally just to like where my bra goes. Um, and it's just a feather. Yeah, it is a feather. <laughs> it's a feather with my mom's birth date on it. Um, obviously, my mom means a lot to me. She is my role model in all things life related. <laughs> um, absolute queen of a human being. So yeah, she had to be somewhere on my body. So that's what I got for her. Um, I still want to get like a tattoo like with her um, or just like a family one with me and her and my sister, but maybe some other time we'll do that. Um, yeah, that one I got done by Leifa. The pain was, it was my first tattoo, so I really had nothing to compare it to. And I know a lot of people have like, um, not issues, but like a lot of people do say that on the spine, it's really painful because obviously it's on bone. To be quite honest, it really wasn't um, painful for me. I was, I literally fell asleep doing it. It was really dope though, because he had like some really good music playing um, in the studio and he was a super chilled guy. So yeah, it was really chilled experience. Um, it was nice, like for a first tattoo, I mean, I expected the worst, but it was not at all like that. So maybe because it was my first one, I didn't really think much of it, I don't know. Um, but it wasn't painful for me at all. I think on a scale of one to ten. The thing is, this was a long time ago, so I also barely remember how it felt. Um, but on a scale of one to ten, I would say like a five, maybe a six in some parts. Um, but otherwise, it was really not that bad. Um, after that, I went to a place called Rasta Tattoo Art that is in Kloof in Durban as well. On that day, I did three at the same time. And they were all done by um, Jan McGee, who is the owner at Rasta Tattoo Art. So that is this one here. It is a W because my sister's name starts with a W. Her name is Waruna, if you really wanted to know that. But shout out to her for being a real one. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is dedicated to her. Probably one of my favorites as well. Just I just love it. It's so, I don't know, I just really love it. Um, pain wise really not that painful it was super quick as well there was a bit um, of pain like when I got to this part here because that's like close to the bone but otherwise like literally I'd rate that like a 3 out of 10 it was not much at all um, and this one was another one that I got on that same day which oh it's so hard to show you this properly like where you'll actually see it but yeah it looks like that it says <laughs> it'll probably be backwards to you but it says make it happen um, pain wise, zero out of 10, legit. I didn't feel a thing. 
Um, and this one basically just means to me, whatever it is in life that I want to achieve, wherever I want to be, anything with regards to that, it's just, it's all up to me. No one's going to hand it to me. And I just have to make it happen. You know, whatever you want, you've got to make it happen. You've got to go up and get it. Otherwise it's not going to come to you. And that's just like daily motivation. Um, sometimes more than once in a day. Because I mean, every time I look down, I see it. Um, so yeah, that's specifically why I wanted it here because I wanted it to be somewhere that I'm gonna see it all the time and be reminded all the time and be motivated all the time. So yeah, that's the reason for that. And then the third one that I got on that day is, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this. Okay, let's do this. It is over here. Okay, there we go. So that's what it looks like. Um, I don't really see this one often. I mean, obviously I don't, it's on my back, but also I don't wear something where it would show enough. I see it more at the gym than anything because in a sports bra, it's easy to see that. Um, so those are serotonin, serotonin, dopamine, and acetylcholine. So serotonin is like passion and love. Um, dopamine is happiness and um, acetylcholine is about dreaming and learning so basically those just interlink in that no matter what I'm doing I want to do something that makes me happy and always put my own happiness first um, make sure that whatever I'm doing it's something that I love and I put love into everything that I do do and also um, always learn in every aspect of your life make sure it's something that's helping you grow and learn as a human um, well learn and grow as a human um, and also like, you know, dreaming, I really want to make sure that my dreams aren't things that just happen, they're things that I turn into a reality. So yeah, that's what that is about. Um, I was originally gonna put something around it, like, I don't know, like do something more artistic to make it pop more, but every time I look at it now, just the way that it is, just like as simple as it is, it's just like bam, bam, bam. I don't know, I just really like it. Pain wise, um, so one of them, I'm not sure which one it is, but it goes like, it came towards, um, the rib area and that's where it felt really painful. So on that day of the three, I would say this one is the most painful. Um, but again, it still wasn't that bad. Like on a scale of one to 10, I would still give it about like a five or a six, you know, like it really wasn't that bad. So, um, yeah, towards the ribs, it definitely did get painful and like, that's the part where I believe when people tell you it's sore, like I believe it because I got a bit of a taste of that. Like on the spine, I didn't really feel it. So I don't really know what people mean when they say the spine tattoo is really painful because for me, it was really average. Overall experience at Rasta Tattoo was really great. Um, Jan knows exactly what he's doing. He's a very talented artist. Um, obviously, the work that I did is very simple and like all script, well, not just script, but like line work, you know, um, no shading at all. So it was very simplistic but also very um, meticulous because I mean with line work you have to be really good at what you do as well um, because you have to be very precise I mean if something is skew or not straight um, like if the line wiggles or whatever then like that's an issue and he did an amazing job and I really like the ink that he uses as well and I mean he just really knows what he's talking about really great guy as well um, I think him his wife yeah she also works um, there as well and I've seen some of her work as well she's really great very talented so yeah overall really would recommend um, I've taken a few friends there as well to get their tattoos done so I would recommend them as well um, the last set of tattoos that I got was at the same place but it was a different artist um, this was Jan's apprentice whose name is Rydell I don't know if he's still an apprentice he might have moved up from that now as I said it was a while ago so I did this um, the day after my, okay it was the day after my 21st birthday party but it wasn't my actual 21st birthday so I was still 20 <laughs> when I got this done um, but yeah it was on the 2nd of December I remember um, that rhymed hey bars anyways um, yeah so that is this one here so my best friend is a cancer and we got these done together um, she got a Capricorn one because I am a Capricorn. So yeah, we did those together. That was really nice. Um, pain wise, it really was not 
that bad. Over here at the top, obviously that is on the bone and also here it came near to the bone. So those two spots were a little bit painful, but otherwise it was super chilled. Um, and also it's not much shading or anything. It's legit just like stars. Um, so really not that bad. So maybe, I don't know if it's, maybe I do have like a higher th uh, pain threshold. I don't know. Maybe that's why, because I really didn't find these like super painful, like to the point where I wouldn't go back, you know? So yeah, um, that was the first one that I did on that day. I also did three on this day. Um, and the second one that I did is on my ankle. It's like the back of my freaking leg. How am I gonna show you? Let me, let me try and stand up and show. That is that one. Oh, that was really difficult. Um, I flippin' love filming in this room because the lighting just always works so well for me. Anyways, um, ooh, looking a bit shiny. Let's fix that. Okay. Um, that one is a symbol for balance. So it's two triangles like that go like that. And obviously one's dark, one is light. So yeah, it's a symbol for balance. I've just found that in my life, I would put so much of myself into the people around me, the people that I cared about, which is not a bad thing, but it was to the point where I would neglect myself and my own happiness and my own well-being. And I just need to make sure that I don't do that because I do have a tendency of putting a lot of effort into one aspect of my life and then almost neglecting another. So definitely want to just keep a balance in every part of my life and every part of who I am. Um, be that social, be that um, physical stuff, be that mental health, be that, you know, career, whatever it is that I'm going through at the time, obviously it changes as I evolve as well and as I move into different parts of my life and different stages of my life. But it's just a reminder as well, you know, just to keep the balance. Um, and I don't know, I just like the placement. I want to get a tattoo in the same place on the other leg as well. Um, I know what I want it to be, but I'm not going to say yet in case I don't do it and change my mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what that is all about. And I think that balance is just always so important in everything, everything. It's, it's just, I'm so sorry that I keep looking outside. <laughs> and also apologies for the light that keeps changing too. But yeah, balance is just so important in everything, every, every, everything. I just think that you have to make sure that you keep a balance because you need to keep yourself fine. You need to keep yourself healthy. You need to look after yourself. And I think that a lot of the time we forget that. So yeah, it's definitely something very important um, to maintain balance in every, every part of your life. Um, and then the last one that I did, sorry to get all preachy. My gosh, this was not my intention whatsoever. The last one that I did is also the one with the most meaning to me. Um, not that like my family doesn't mean as much to me. Obviously they mean more than anything, but I just mean like just in terms of what it stands for, I really, really like that. So this last one is, oh, here we go. So it's that one there on the back of my shoulder. So that tattoo is made up of two different symbols. The one is the tree of life and the other one is the Japanese symbol, um, which is the Enso circle, which, you know, that brush stroke circle. I really, okay, first of all, these two different symbols on their own have a vast meaning. They can go quite far. There's a lot of reading that you can do about either one, and they all mean so many different things. Um, and that's what I really like about them because every time I read about it, it's like a different part of it has meaning to me now because I'm in a different part of my life so as I grow and evolve the meaning changes as well and I really love that so much and I think that's probably why it's one of my favorite and one of the most meaningful ones because it literally like there's just so much to it um basically just for now I would say what it means to me <laughs> it might change in a few months or a year whatever um but for now the tree of life obviously is about the roots and the branches you know so as you branch out in your life, um, you're still connected to your roots. And I think where you come from and your roots are what motivate you for where you want to go. You know what I mean? Um, they always say like your future isn't determined by where you come from, you know, 
or your past. And that's so true. I think your future, more than anything, is motivated um, by your past. I mean, if you had a really bad experience, you're going to make sure that you don't go back to that place. And if you plan on raising children, you're going to make sure that they don't have to go back to that place. So um, that's going to motivate you to do better and be better. And I think that's really cool as well. So, um, but also within that, you don't forget um, because it does, it is a part of who you are and it makes you who you will become eventually. And it's very philosophical, it's very open-ended, it can go on and on. I mean, there's so many different parts, like the tree of life means a lot of different things, but like for me right now, that's what um, resonates with me most. Um, I read a poem as well called Desiderata and if you're into this sort of thing like definitely read it I'll leave the name and the artist or a link to it in the description as well um not the artist I mean author sorry um but yeah I'll probably just put a link to it in the description and I think everything that it stands for um it links a lot with the meaning behind the tree of life as well and I think that's really cool um the other part which is the circle is a brush stroke and it's basically an imperfect and incomplete circle. So it's like finding the perfection and imperfection and appreciating, you know, there are parts of the brush stroke which are more solid and full. There are parts which towards the edges are more sort of like, you know, um, I'm really bad with adjectives, but you know, the parts that aren't like as solid, they're more like little, they're more ragged and like jagged edges. Um, yeah, jagged edges, I'd say. <laughs> Um, not very like, you know, just clean edge, that sort of thing. So there's, that's like the good and the bad, the positive and the negative in your life. And sort of to make that one full circle, which represents your life, um, you need to have the good and the bad and the positive and the negative. You can't have one without the other. You also can't appreciate one without appreciating the other um, or experiencing the other rather. So I think that's also really dope. Um, that's another thing that can go on and on forever. And also what's really cool is that because the circle is incomplete, it represents your life as well and how it's not complete. You still have so much more coming your way, so much more that you're going to do and experience and feel and explore. And I think that's really cool as well. I mean, the proverbial you here is me, <laughs> but I think it's quite universal. Um, but that's also Japanese symbols and the Japanese culture. The Japanese mindset is just something that I have so much appreciation for. I think they are some really amazing people just as a whole. So that's also something really worth reading up about or reading um, on if that's something that interests you. I always find that what I like most about that tattoo and its symbols is that first of all they somehow connect and go hand in hand um, and also another thing is that they, because they have such a huge mean like so many different meanings within one thing um i think it's really good really cool because as i grow and when i get to a different point in my life or a different stage or i'm experiencing something different like i can go back and read about it and like then the tattoo sort of means something different based on where i am and what the situation is and that sort of thing and i think that's really cool as well and that's what makes me appreciate it even more and that's probably why it is like meaning wise it's definitely my favorite one but just I mean, it also looks friggin' stunning. Rydell did an awesome job. Um, oh, I forgot to talk about the pain. I just got so lost in all the meaning. But the one on the back of my ankle was not painful um, either. Like, there was a lot of shading. Um, and that, for me, it wasn't painful. It was just annoying. Um, you know, that, like, it just felt like a bunch of scratching. So, um, from 1 to 10, I would say maybe a 6 as well. And then this one was my most painful that I've just done, like, overall. Um, because, again, it's a lot of shading. Um, so that one I'd give it maybe a six, seven, um, six and a half, we'll put it that, but yeah, um, shout out to Rydell, he did a really awesome job and I've been looking at the stuff that he's working on now and like he's really, really cool. He's very, very good with line work as well, so if you want to go there and if you're looking for someone that's good at that, then definitely recommend that as well, but I really love every single one of my tattoos so, so, so much. I don't regret a single one of them, like I'm literally obsessed with all of them um, and I definitely do want more. Um, I don't know 
where I'll get them from. I'll have to see. I definitely do want to go back and get another one from Lufa, um, who did the feather on my spine as well, because I'm looking at the work that he's doing now and it's really, really cool. But because of that, like, I don't want to go and do something like super tiny and basic. Like I want to do something proper and like intricate because I feel like he's good at that. So yeah, I'm still thinking about ideas, but I do have a few in mind that I want to get as well, just like small little ones for just here and there. But I will keep you guys updated if anything new comes up. Um, I have to actually go and get dressed because I'm going to lunch and my mom's going to show up soon. Um, and I haven't picked out what I'm going to wear yet. So I'm going to go and do that. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope this inspires you to go get some ink of your own. And if you do have some, then please let me know about it. And I'm in Joburg right now. So if you know of really good um, tattoo artists in Joburg, let me know. And I will see if I can try them out. Thank you for clicking on to my video. And I hope to see you in the next one, which should be a QA. and a If not, it'll be a vlog because I'm going on a hiking trip next weekend. So definitely um, click on the bell notification so you'll know when that one comes out. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.